Imagine waking up in the year 2050. Your alarm clock doesn't just wake you up, it scans your body, checks your vitals, and whispers a personalized health report straight into your ear. Good morning! Your hydration levels are low, but your heart rate variability looks great. Here's a meal plan tailored to today's stress levels. Sounds like science fiction? Well, it might not be. In today's video, we're exploring how humans will eat, sleep, exercise, and heal in the year 2050. From AI doctors and nanosurgeries to emotional fitness and virtual gyms, the future of health might be closer than you think. But before we dive in, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss our journey into the future of human life. The future of eating. Food in 2050 won't just be about satisfying hunger. It will be a science of precision. Right now, we already have personalized nutrition apps, DNA-based diet plans, and even lab-grown meat. Fast forward 25 years, and imagine your kitchen fridge being smarter than your doctor today. Instead of opening the fridge and grabbing random food, you'll have AI-curated meals designed specifically for your body on that day. If you're stressed, your fridge might suggest magnesium-rich dishes. If your body signals low iron, it might whip up a meal infused with bioengineered nutrients. And let's not forget climate change. By 2050, food production will likely shift toward lab-grown proteins, vertical farms and skyscrapers, and even insect-based snacks. Don't worry, by then, they won't look like bugs. They'll be processed into high-protein, tasty bars that your future self will enjoy without hesitation. We might even see nanobots inside our digestive systems, monitoring how well we absorb food. They could adjust enzymes in real time, making sure every nutrient is used efficiently. Eating won't just be about survival, it will be about optimizing health at a microscopic level. Sleeping in the future. If there's one thing humans can't live without, it's sleep. But in 2050, sleep will be less about simply resting and more about active recovery. Imagine your bed scanning your brainwaves and adjusting its firmness and temperature throughout the night. AI-powered sleep pods could play personalized sound frequencies, helping you enter deep sleep faster, stay there longer, and wake up feeling truly refreshed. No more tossing and turning. Some futurists even predict neural stimulation devices that can give you the equivalent of eight hours of rest in just four hours. This won't just save time, it could transform how society functions. Longer waking hours mean more productivity, but also new challenges for mental health. And here's the big question. In a world where you can sleep less but still feel rested, will humans embrace it, or will we still crave the natural rhythm of a full night's rest? The future of exercise. Right now, most of us struggle to fit exercise into our daily lives. But in 2050, the gym might come to you, virtually. Picture this. You put on lightweight AR glasses or step into a VR room, and suddenly you're climbing Mount Everest, running alongside Olympic athletes, or sparring with a boxing champion hologram. Exercise won't be boring treadmill runs. It'll be immersive, social, and even addictive. But here's where it gets fascinating. AI personal trainers will monitor every movement of your body in real time. They'll adjust your form, suggest workouts, and even measure your muscle fatigue using sensors embedded in your clothes. On top of that, exoskeleton suits may become common. These wearable machines could not only help people with mobility challenges, but also allow everyday humans to train harder, lift heavier, and push their physical limits safely. And let's not forget genetic fitness enhancements. By 2050, Gene editing technologies like CRISPR could allow humans to modify muscle endurance, metabolism, and even recovery speed. Will exercise become less about hard work and more about biology? That's a question future generations will have to answer. Healing in 2050. Now let's step into the world of medicine. By 2050, seeing a doctor might not involve a human at all. Instead, AI doctors could be the first point of contact. These AI systems would analyze your symptoms, medical history, and even real-time data from your wearable devices before suggesting treatment. You might still consult human doctors, but only for complex cases or emotional support. And the best part? Healthcare will become proactive instead of reactive. Instead of waiting until you're sick, your AI doctor will catch problems before they even develop. Hospitals might transform into high-tech centers for emergencies and surgeries, while most people get day-to-day -day care through AI, nanotech, and home devices. Nanosurgery. Here's where it gets mind-blowing. Imagine tiny nanobots, smaller than a grain of sand, swimming inside your bloodstream. Their mission? To detect and repair damage at the cellular level. Got a blocked artery? Nanobots can clear it before it causes a heart attack. 
cancerous cell forming, they'll target and destroy it before it spreads. These bots could also deliver medication directly to where it's needed, meaning fewer side effects and faster healing. Surgery in 2050 might not involve scalpels at all. It could all happen inside your body, invisible to the naked eye. Emotional fitness. When we talk about health, we usually think of the body. But by 2050, emotional fitness will be as important as physical health. Already stress, anxiety, and burnout dominate modern life. Forward, and technology might step in as a mental health partner. Imagine AI therapists available 24 seven, capable of analyzing your speech patterns and facial expressions to detect stress or sadness before you even realize it. You could step into a virtual meditation garden designed just for you with calming visuals, sounds, and even scents released through smart devices. Mental health won't just be about therapy sessions. It'll be woven into daily life through technology, but there's a double edge to this sword. If technology manages our emotions, Will we lose touch with the natural ups and downs that make us human? Or will we finally unlock a world where mental illness becomes far less common? The ethical dilemma. Will everyone benefit? Now here's the catch. While this future sounds exciting, not everyone might have access to it. The biggest health question of 2050 won't be about technology. It'll be about equity. Will advanced nanobots, AI doctors, and genetic enhancements be available only to the wealthy? Will society create a new health divide between those who can afford cutting-edge care and those stuck with outdated systems? The future of health isn't just about science, it's about ethics, access, and humanity. A day in the life of a human in 2050. To wrap it all together, let's take a quick journey. Imagine yourself in 2050, you wake up in your smart bed, fully rested after just five hours. Your AI health assistant suggests a breakfast smoothie enriched with lab-grown proteins tailored for your mood and energy needs. Nanobots in your body quietly check your cells for damage while you get dressed. Instead of driving to the gym, you slip on AR glasses and jog through a virtual Tokyo marathon with friends across the globe. Later, your AI doctor checks your vitals and assures you everything looks perfect. Before bed, you spend 10 minutes in a personalized VR meditation garden, letting your mind relax completely. You fall asleep instantly as your bed adjusts to your ideal temperature. That's not science fiction, that's the health of tomorrow. The year 2050 might be just 25 years away, but the changes on the horizon are enormous. From personalized meals and nanobot surgeries to emotional fitness and virtual gyms, the future of human health is going to transform everything we know about living well. The real question is, are we ready for it? If you enjoyed this journey into the future, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you never miss more deep dives into what tomorrow might hold.